Brian Flores is a good head coach. Well, he was for the Miami Dolphins for the first two years but now, his future is in question or at least it should be. Flores won over his players with respect, not ego but it might be his ego that is creating a problem on his team. So far there doesn't seem to be internal dissension. That could change if the team keeps losing. Dolphins fans would love to see the team start winning under Flores. They have accepted the Patriot way that he has brought to Miami on paper, but on the field, it is still up in the air. Flores is failing though and he is failing like Joe Philbin, Tony Sperano, and Adam Gase all did. He is failing because his offense can't put points on the board. He is failing because his offense can't move the ball consistency and with energy. He is failing because his offense is predictable and boring. Tony Spirano took his team to the postseason in year one but that was on the arm of Chad Pennington and the legs of Ronnie Brown's Wildcat. Joe Philbin's offense failed because he didn't know how to use Ryan Tanhill and he operated with his best friend and mentor as his offensive coordinators. He didn't want to fire him. Adam Gase failed, like the others, for multiple reasons but in the end, it was the lack of offensive production that doomed them all and here we are watching Flores make the same mistakes as his predecessors. Assuming a good defense will mask the imperfections on offense. They are not. In fact, the offense is regressing. There is talent. Talent at running back, talent at tight end, talent at wide receiver, you could even argue there is enough talent at quarterback. Gase couldn't build an offensive line. Sperano couldn't build an offensive line. Philbin was an offensive line coach and couldn't build an offensive line. Flores hasn't built one yet. Across the board the O-line has been a huge problem for the Dolphins and while we put our thumb on the coaches, we can't dismiss Chris Greer who has been involved in some way in most of these decisions. Flores could have a great defense, a top NFL defensive unit but if his offense doesn't get fixed it won't matter what he does on that side of that ball. Defenses win championships but not without at least an adequate offense. Flores hasn't built that yet and neither did Sperano, Philbin, or Gase. None of them lasted very long because of it.